Hey, Seacoast, Pastor Adam here. I hope everybody's doing great. We are finishing up Acts chapter three today. For the past few devotionals, we've been looking at one miracle from three different perspectives. We looked at it from the perspective of the man who was healed, from the crowd who witnessed it, and then from Peter and John who performed the miracle. And I think there's one more thing that Luke wants us to see from Peter and John's perspective. And it's in what they said to the man. Peter told the man plainly, you know, he was, they were going to the temple. Remember, Luke told us that they were on their way to the temple for prayer. And they saw the man who was there, who was there every day begging. And they stopped. And Peter said to him, silver or gold, I do not have. But what I do have, I give to you. So what exactly did they have? That's the question I want to answer today. Luke gives us a clue in the next sentence. When, he, when, he, when Peter says this, it says, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Peter and John believed something about the name of Jesus. Something that not everyone else believed or even understood. Remember, these were the same guys who they saw Jesus crucified and they were crushed. They saw Jesus resurrected and they were confused. And then they saw Jesus ascend into heaven again and they were confident. So I think the thing that they had to give away was this, faith, no silver, no gold, just faith, a confidence in the name and power of Jesus as God's one and only son. That's what they were given. And that's what they were willing to give away to this man. And therein lies the point for us. I don't know what you've been given, but I do know this. You were never meant to just hold on to it yourself. You were meant to give it away. I was meant to give it away. Peter and John had faith. That's what they gave away. Just so happened that it changed this guy's life. And a chapter later changed 5,000 other people's lives. So here's the question that we may want to answer today. Could this be true for me? What have I been given that I need to now be willing to give away? Maybe you have faith. Maybe you have wisdom or experience that you can share. Maybe you have hope or encouragement that you can offer. Maybe you have friendship that you can extend or a willingness to listen. Maybe you have resources or skills that would help somebody out right now. And maybe, just maybe, giving that away would change somebody's life forever. Let me pray for you. Father, we do thank you that uh, you've given us so much, but you didn't give it to us just to hold on to personally. You gave it to us trusting that we would be willing to give it away to others. So we pray for the courage to do that with the people you've put around us. In Jesus' name, amen.